In this video, I'll be showing you how to set up your ROG Xbox Ally X for the first time. It's a very simple method, so if you find this video helpful, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. Now, an important thing to note with this, the first thing I want to say is make sure you get a screen protector for this, just so it's completely safe. Now, over here, you're going to see a few different ports and different things like that. So over here, we have two USB-C cables. The one on the right is specifically going to be for charging, things like that. And the one on the left is gonna be if you have an external like graphics card or anything like that, that you wanna connect to your Xbox Ally X, you can do that. Now over here, you just have your volume buttons. And then on the right, you're gonna have a little reader for like SD cards, your headphone jack, and then the power button. So this is a completely brand new Xbox Ally X. I'm gonna be walking you through the setup. So all you wanna do, firstly, press this power button right here to turn on the Xbox Ally X for the first time. You should see both Joy-Cons light up and you should see that screen right there. Then just wait for it to load everything up. It might just take, you know, the first time is going to take a little longer than the rest of the times just because it's going to be the initial setup for your device. And another thing to note is that this is also using Windows 11. So it's basically a mini PC. Now, once it loads, it's going to look something like this. And you just want to go to your buttons here and press A for whichever one you want, but you can also use a touch screen as well. So I'm going to continue with to English. Your device using a screen and then just select your region. So I'm obviously going to be using United Kingdom because that's where I am from. Now it's going to ask you to connect to your network. So all you got to do is go ahead and use the left analog stick right here and find your internet connection and connect to the relevant network. Now, once you've done it, all you gotta do is select next right there on the screen. It's gonna be checking for any updates, which when you know you first get your Ally X, you might need some updates for Windows 10 just to make sure it runs smoothly. So it's gonna be checking for updates. And if there are any updates, then we're gonna make sure to run them. Now, just note when it's doing its updates, it's gonna say your PC is gonna restart before you continue. That's completely fine. Don't worry about it. As you can see, it says just a moment and your console is going to restart again and then you'll be able to actually go through the rest of the setup. It's then going to ask you to review the license agreement. So once you've checked that, all you got to do is press accept again and then you can name your device anything you want. But you can skip it for now as well. So I'm just going to press skip because, you know, this is the only one I'm going to be using. So next, it's going to be checking for any Windows updates. So just wait for it to happen. Now, as you can see, it says updates are in progress. This could take a while. Please keep your device on and plugged in. So what you want to do now is just get the charger and the cable that you got with your console and put it on. It's a 60 watt charger. But if you have anything higher than that, like a 100 watt charger, that's also going to work as well. So when you plug it in, all you have to do is make sure you plug it in to the second one on the right, right there. So the one that I'm focusing on right now, that's the one you want to plug it in. Okay, now once that's done, the updates in total should take about 10 to 15 minutes, but they might take a bit longer depending on your internet. Your device might restart a few times, but then you're going to be prompted onto this page where you're going to have to log into a Microsoft account. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press sign in right there. And obviously you can also, you know, press A as well if you want to. And if you haven't got an account, you can also just press create one right there. But I'm just going to sign into my account and you should do that as well. Okay, so once you've signed into your Microsoft account and gone through the setup with your password and all of those things, it's just going to be on this page right here where it says getting things ready for you. It's just going to be getting Windows 11 ready for you. Now, once you open it, it's going to say we're updating the game bar and it should be ready to use again shortly. So all you got to do is just press close right there. Then you can sign in with your Microsoft account to Xbox to continue. So before browsing the app, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press sign in right there. Then I'm just going to go ahead and sign into my account. You can use the exact same account that you used for your Microsoft account as well. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and select that one right there. Then just press continue. And then you just got to wait again. Now just make sure it's the right account. And then all you got to do is press let's go on the very bottom. And then it's going to be loading. Now from here, you're going to be in the game UI. From here, you can literally just select any of the games you want to play. You can see what's available in the Game Pass. So you can download any of those things. If you opted into Game Pass or if you have Game Pass already on your PC or an Xbox, then you can then like literally either get discounts or play those games for free. Another thing you can also do is go down here. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to press A right here. Shows you the Game Pass over here. And then on the left, I'm going to go again. This should show me my library. Yep, right here. So any of the games that you've installed are going to be in your library. And then also over here, this should be yeah, cloud gaming right here. If you ever want to play on the go, but you just want to use internet and not your storage, you can also do cloud gaming 
and there's going to be your store right here and if you want to manage any of your settings you can go towards the bottom and then you know you can filter your settings that way but that's pretty much it from here you'll be good to go your console is going to be set up now and we have a bunch more tutorials that are already coming on the channel so go ahead and subscribe like this video if you found it useful and check out more of the tutorials for this specific console on our channel